Good morning. It was a very early morning today. Someone decided that it was a good idea to wake up at 4.45. Uh, luckily, uh, you know, he got to take a little cat nap. <laughs> yeah. But me, not so much. So, uh, it is just after 7 now. He finally decided to wake up from his little cat nap. Um, and now we are getting our day started. Lincoln, you want to make Mama some coffee? <laughs> no, I want the camera, Mom. <laughs> yeah. I love you. So I just put Lincoln down for a nap. Hopefully he's gonna sleep for at least an hour or so. Hopefully more, that would be fantastic. Um, now is my chance to get some stuff done around the house. It's trash day and my husband is traveling for work so I gotta take the trash out. Um, the last thing I really wanna do is work out but I'm really trying to be better. I'm just trying to get back in the groove I'm not trying to make myself do anything crazy, but just do like a quick light weight circuit a couple times a week. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that quickly, 15, 20 minutes, nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna get something to eat because I'm starving. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to put something in the toaster and let it go while I collect the trash because mom life, you gotta multitask, right? I have been loving these Kodiak Cake freezer waffles. Um, I oh, <laughs> already made already made it through one package. I have been loving these, so I am a huge Kodiak Cakes fan. And um, I used to make like the box, like the powder box waffles, all the time. Um, but now it's like. I don't have time to be mixing up a batter and putting stuff in a waffle maker and doing all that while I'm watching a little one on the day to day. So um, these freezer waffles have been a lifesaver. Um, when I make with the powder, I make them a little bit differently so that they're a little bit healthier than these. But you know, I need some protein, I need some carbs, I need something fast. So these have been awesome. I would highly recommend them especially the blueberry.
I'm so out of shape compared to what I was like a year and a half ago. Oh man, and I really haven't gotten back into the fist. I can't even talk. I haven't even got. Oh, I just need. I need a moment. I haven't got back into the fitness mode as quickly as I wanted to after having Lincoln. There we go. Yeah, I kind of expected to just like get back into it, go to the gym, like just kind of pick up where I left off and um, reality has hit hard and I just don't have the time to do it and I hate having excuses. Um, but I just, at the end of the night, the last thing I want to do is drive to the gym. And, you know, it's been winter, it's been dark, it's been cold, I can't go running and walking outside. I know, excuses, it's terrible, but now that it's finally getting nicer and lighter and we're kind of getting a better schedule here <laughs> with naps and everything, um, I'm just trying to ease into it, not try to force myself too much and, like, put too much pressure on myself, but fit in little workouts when I can, like this. 15, 20 minutes, I'm sweating, um, and I know I won't regret this later in the day, but if I was sitting on the couch watching Live with Kelly and Ryan, I'd be like, what was even the point, you know? So, um, now I'm going to go get dressed, put myself together a little bit for the day. I have to go to work in a few hours. My mom will be coming over to watch Lincoln while I'm gone. Um, so I gotta get my stuff together and uh, hopefully have enough time to do that before Lincoln wakes up. starting to stir a little bit so it won't be long before he's ready to get up so quickly I will just show you what I am bringing to work so here I have the pump parts that I will need for later just in a cooler bag here that you can put in the freezer so that it stays cold very essential for pumping mamas in my opinion <laughs> and here is my lunch I have a spinach turkey burger there with just some ketchup on top and some green beans a uh, peanut butter, chocolate chip lar bar, and a banana. Just taking all this with me for food. And then for the little guy's lunch, I set aside a pouch, a baby mum mum. And then also every day I just leave a note for my mom with his nap times and like when he last ate and stuff like that so that she knows what's up when she takes over. Let's go get the little man. How are you still sleeping? How are you still sleeping? Hi. Did you have a good nap? You ready to get up? <laughs> Hi. How was your nap? You have a good nap? I love you. Hi. Hi. Are you ready to go eat? Are you hungry? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, bud. Someone is halfway dressed, huh? What do you have there, mister? Your monitor? Your monitor? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? We're on a mission. I'll follow you.
On the road now on my way to work Ugh, I hate this time of the day I hate the transition from being at home mom to working mom <laughs> Ugh, it's exhausting but I'm very thankful that I'm able to work part-time and that I'm able to have the extra time with Lincoln during the week that I wouldn't have otherwise like I'm, I'm so grateful for that um, but going from the mode of making sure he's on schedule, he has everything that he needs, da da da, to then switching gears and being like, all right, I gotta like mentally prepare to function at work and keep up with work deadlines and all that craziness. So it's just a lot. <laughs> at least I have a little bit of a commute so that I can kind of switch gears and get into that mode. Um, but of course, there's always that element of mom guilt too because I'm leaving my child behind to go work at a job that I don't love. <laughs> and um, I would rather be home, yeah, but that's just not in the cards for our family right now. Um, we're talking about having more kids and at that point when we would be having to figure out childcare for multiple children, um, you know then it's more likely that I will stay home full-time but right now for our family me working part-time is what's best and I also feel like for my career it's what's best too you know it's it's sad but we live in a world where if you take a pause for your career and then try to re-enter the workforce there's some major obstacles to overcome with that so still trying to figure it out you know we're kind of taking it week by week honestly um, because my husband knows that ultimately I would I would love to be home with Lincoln all the time but then there is that piece of me that knows that it's good for me to get out of the house and have some things to do besides being on Lincoln's schedule and um, that I have some some goals to aim for um, professionally you know that, that's good to have so we'll see what the future holds but for now I am heading to work <laughs> and um, see what today holds all right bud you ready to go home let's go well it's a lot later now and I am obviously out of work and I am back with the little guy he's in the back and we are heading home went to my parents' house after work, had some dinner, got to play around with him for a little bit, and now we're heading back. It's 6.15 now, we'll be home by 6.30ish. Um, so, just enough time to get the bottle warming up, get jammies on, get our face washed, our hands washed, our lotion on. We'll do the bedtime routine. I'll have his bottle, we'll read a couple books, and then it is off to bed. So, it's gonna be kind of a, uh, a whirlwind once we get back home. And probably in the meantime, he'll take a quick cat nap in the car. So, uh, yeah. It's always a little bit interesting when he takes a nap in the car, like close to bedtime, because he wakes up when we get home and he's just like over the day. <laughs> So, hopefully things go smoothly and we don't have too many tears, but uh, yeah, I'm ready to be home too. What a day. Hi! We made it home! Let's get inside, bud. Ready? Do you have a good little cat nap?
this time of the night when I can finally just be like we made it we made it to bedtime how did we make it to bedtime what even happened today I don't know but we made it to bedtime and I might have a few minutes for myself once I put this house back together I mean we've got toys toys everywhere we've got um the cats that are just dying for me to feed them now <laughs> not that they get five seconds of attention are you guys starving or something and then we got this mess in the kitchen that needs to be picked up and <sighs> someone always needs something from me well I'm going to wash dishes and feed the cats and at least I've already eaten dinner tonight hey like at least my mom made dinner and I could eat that before I got home and had to do this whole rush. Oh man. Mm. showered the house is pretty much put back together so I am calling it a day I'm going to sit on the couch find something to watch scroll my phone aimlessly and enjoy these chocolate chip cookies that my mom sent home with me that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one good night